Okay, so where I left you, um, my thing that I was trying to tell you is, okay, so if we believe that Steve, while he's in the Navy, has nothing to hold him back because he has no family, no one's going to mourn him, no one's going to miss him, um, this changes in 5-0 because suddenly he has a family. Um, if you believe it even more, he's got a best friend who's basically like a brother or a boyfriend, depending on how you ship McDano, um, because, you know, those are the two ways that fans usually see it. Either way, when he is in the field, when it comes to almost dying, he has this life that he wants. He has this life that he, you know, needs and loves and these people who matter and they are family. Um, and he doesn't want to leave them because now he has this thing. So, um, I talked to Laura about this a lot. I think he would hesitate the same way everyone else would. Um, and the same way that he didn't, which gave him, you know, minutes and seconds and attention to detail and everything else. Crap, that's my chicken. Um that no one else had uh, during all those years when he is the best because he has, he has seconds to shave off of everything. He has no hesitation. He has nothing to fear. He has no one to hurt. He has no one to hurt for him. Um, and suddenly he does. He possibly has a boyfriend. He has a best friend. He has a family of chosen people who, you know, they don't come by blood. They don't leave you. They make this choice to be with you, to love you, to spend holidays and, you know, all of the hard days working together. And so I don't think he wants to lose those people, especially because he spent so long without people. So, you know, as a later seal, he would, you know, hesitate and maybe not be the best or be slightly right under the best, but also, you know, there will always be people coming in and becoming better because there are younger, faster people every time. And because he is getting up there, he is 38 as of this week. And um, he's getting to that age because he is no longer one of those, like, 22-year-old seals or, you know, straight out of, uh, straight into joining the Navy seals. Um, he might be the best, but he's heading towards that slope. And um, I have a hard time writing about that because I think it really will affect and change him a lot. And Laura likes to leave me these questions where I figure out what he would do and how he would handle that, and I avoid them all the time because I'm a terrible person. I love you anyway. I'll figure it out. Um, I do deeply think it would break his heart, and it will eventually because this is his rock bottom main foundation. This is how he built himself and what he sees himself as, and it's what he earned out of having nothing more than his fingers and his toes and his brain and the ability to do everything, um, to still be amazing and awesome even when he lost his mind, which people often do in the field, and you would during all of Hell Week. Um, and he was still the best of the best, and I think having to let go of that will be crazy hard for him, no matter how small the percentage is, like from what he's doing now to later to later to later until he actually does get retired because he will because you know his eyesight will go or his reflexes will go or something will go and um it'll be that time when he actually has to let go finally of the last piece even though I don't think he ever lets go of the Navy entirely he probably trains people at least I tell myself that while I don't think about it sorry Danny I love you but that's so much of his identity um yeah, so, so much. So, yeah, that's my rambling, thoughtfully not organized answer to your question, Sabrina. I hope you liked this. I hope it's not too insane. I hope I shouldn't just start blushing because it's terrible. And I could have written this for you in so many elegant, el bleh, eloquent, eloquent, see, I can't even talk now. In so many eloquent ways that had lots and lots of definitions. Um, and canon references and points to episodes and, you know, this is what happens. Hope you love it. Bye.